Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what I packed in my hospital bag. So right now I'm about 35 weeks and four days and um, you'll be seeing this probably closer to like 36 weeks. I thought it is better to be safe than sorry. So I went ahead and packed a bag. This is my third child. I feel like I'm very minimal. We also are in the middle of a global pandemic. So I'm trying to not like take a bunch of stuff to the hospital so I'm not bringing a bunch of germs back to my house. I do have my raspberry leaf tea. If you're wondering, usually it's not red. Um, I, because raspberry leaf tea is just very like herbally, like herbal tasting, I put a raspberry leaf tea sachet, sachet, <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Um, and then also a raspberry zinger to give it flavor. So it's still raspberry tea, but I add another type of tea with it so that it has like more of a flavor. When the baby does come, um, I'll probably update on Instagram first. So if you want to like see when the baby comes first, check me out here at Just Greg Hampton. Um, that's where like the updates will happen in real time. Um, I don't know how long it'll take to get like the birth video up and all that. Also, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into the video. Something that we're doing different this time, instead of Russell bringing a bag, me bringing a bag and having the baby's bag, we're taking one bag for everybody. This is the baby's diaper bag. It's from Amazon. It's like a Fawn Designs knockoff. Sorry, but way cheaper. I do love this. I'll talk about this at some point in a video. That will be the diaper bag. I'm not taking that with us though. The bag I am taking is same bag I took with Jay. This is just a Vera Bradley bag. I already had it. Russell got it for me for Mother's Day one year and it's just big enough to fit everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into this. First things first, uh, right on the outside pocket here, I've got a charger. This isn't a super long one, but it's just in here just in case for some reason we forget the super long one. That'll be something we grab last minute. I'm planning on putting like some granola bars and stuff in this side, just like for easy access for Russell. I'm not sure if he'll be able to leave the room or not. And then in this front pocket, this is like a rolly massage ball. We use this with my second pregnancy and it was really, really nice because it just rolls when you rub it against your skin. With my daughter, they gave us tennis balls and they told Russell to rub it on my back. So he took the tennis ball and held it and like rubbed it across my back and it was like scratching. He didn't realize that like, you like hold it in your hand like this and let it like roll around. So second time I caught this and so I'm not gonna forget it this time. It's really nice to have. I actually haven't packed any of Russell's stuff in here because he's probably going to have like a pair of underwear, a pair of socks, a pair of shorts and a t-shirt because we're only planning on being there for one-ish day. That's not in here yet. I'm gonna let him like grab that stuff whenever he feels like it and throw it in here. If it's last minute, it's last minute. That's his deal. First thing when I open my bag up is this bag here. I'll get into this later. This is all the baby stuff. But I'm gonna move into what I've got for me or like just like in general random things. So I've got these little bumpkins bags. I got them in a set on Amazon, but they're just nice to have. Inside of here, I've got a few breast milk pads. I probably, I've never had to use them in the hospital, but I'm just bringing them just in case. This is my third kid, so I don't know like how fast I might be leaking. I brought some CC cream. I usually am like not a makeup wearer, but I just brought that just in case. Like sometimes it makes you feel better. And then I brought some mascara. If you've been watching, you know I get eyelash extensions and I haven't been able to get them in like the two months almost. <laughs> so I'm bringing mascara just so that I could put it on so I look like I have lashes. And then I've got this Vaseline lip therapy. Your lips do get chapped, you're breathing a lot during labor. So that is like one thing for sure to bring is chapstick. The next little bumpkins bag I have here, I really just grabbed it because it had hand sanitizer and socks. Okay, the next thing in here is just a letter board and I've got the letters. I actually have the bag with all of the letters in it and then inside the Ziploc are the letters that like have his name and all of that. I had them all on here and then I put them in the bag and I was like, they're all gonna fall off. So I put them in this so that I don't lose them. But that's really nice to have like for a cute little announcement photo. Next, we have my toiletry bag. I've had this for years. I was an athlete in college, so like everybody had some sort of bag that they just like always had stocked. 
so that you could take it on all of our like trips. It is a hanging bag. I would recommend that so you don't like have to sit it on the countertop, but it's super long. So in the top section, I've got a toothbrush and toothpaste. Russell's gonna need to throw his toothbrush in here. I honestly don't know which one's his, so yeah. Then next, we've got deodorant and lo some lotion. So Russell deodorant, my deodorant, and lotion. And then in this compartment, I just got a hairbrush, a razor. I'm probably not gonna be shaving, but it's just always been in there. Q-tips, a nail file, um, a body spray, and allergy relief, which has just always been in here. And then I've got a couple hair ties and bobby pins. And then down here, of course, I've got shampoo, conditioner, uh, face wash and moisturizer, a bar of soap, and I think that's it. I know some people don't like want to take a shower in the hospital, but literally I live for that shower. The first shower after you've had a baby is the best. It makes you feel so much better and it just gets all the like blah off of you. I seriously live for that shower. So I would recommend it, whether you think you're gonna shower or not, just bring some of your normal stuff um, just in case because that shower is amazing. I've got, this is a portable charger. I just charged it up and put it in here so that in case we can't plug in, then we'll be good, set to go. The last thing I have uh, besides clothes for me are these adult diapers. So I got these on Amazon, I'll link them below. They're just like Depends, but they're just like the Amazon Basics brand. They're purple, so I kind of, I don't really like purple, but they're cuter than like the tan ones. I don't mind the mesh underwear and the big, huge pads and all that, but I'm bringing these just in case for some reason. I, I am delivering at a different hospital than I've been at before, so I just wanted to grab a few of these just in case for some reason I don't like the ones that they have. Other than that, postpartum stuff, I'm expecting the hospital to have it all. Moving on to what I'm bringing for myself, I'll go through this really quickly. I've got three pairs of regular socks and then one pair of grippy socks for when I'm in labor. These are just like sky zone socks that have grips on the bottom. So I didn't go out and buy them. I've got a nursing bra that you can change into a razor back. It's just a clippy um, type of sports bra type of deal. Here's another nursing bra that's like kind of like a sports bra. This one does not have padding in it like this other one does. I'll try to link whatever I can below. A lot of this stuff is from Amazon or Target. The next thing I've got are these, these are maternity biker shorts. So I don't know what I'm gonna wanna wear home, but this is potentially a, something I can wear home, like on the bottom, and they do come up really, really high, so it'd be nice to like pull my tummy in. But if I don't wear those home, these are just like my Lululemon Aligns. They are so worth the money, so if you've ever been wondering, Lululemon Aligns are the best, best lighting ever. Then I have just a long sleeve shirt. So this is just a kind of a oversized shirt on me normally and pregnant, it fits me just like perfect. So bringing that potential going home, like just to wear with the leggings. I've got a black, if you've seen some of the shirts I wear that are the men's fit with a pocket right here and they're kind of like a dolphin bottom. That's what I've got here. That's something that I'll either wear in the hospital or wear just on, my, on our way home when we leave. I just wanted to have a short sleeve and a long sleeve option. I'm taking two nursing tank tops. These are like my favorite thing to wear. They're tight fitting, so it's nice to wear like postpartum because you feel jiggly and stuff. And one of these I took the pads out of on the boob area and the other I left them in, but they're just the ones that clip down. I had one of these with J and I, I wore it all the time. So I got two of them just in case it gets like thrown up on or something. I do have a black bando to wear while I'm in labor. I like to wear something up here because I don't usually, I don't wanna keep the gown on the whole time because I get hot and I'm just moving around. So this is nice to have because you can just pull it down, breastfeed or do skin to skin, that sort of thing. And then the last thing I have in here is just a soft black robe. This is from Target, I think you can get them something similar on Amazon as well. It's the Stars and Above brand. And it's a short robe, but like I got a size bigger than I normally would so that it will fit really pretty well. And I'm not planning on wearing this during labor. I'm planning on wearing this like while I'm in the hospital with a tank top or a bra underneath. I pretty much didn't bring any bottoms except for bottoms that I'm gonna wear home. When I'll be in the hospital, 
I'm not gonna be allowed to have visitors. The only person that's gonna be able to be there is Russell. I don't plan on wearing any pants. I'm gonna have the mesh underwear and the pads and all that stuff in a robe. And that is all I'm planning on wearing when I'm actually like at the hospital. The leggings or the biker shorts are just something I'm gonna wear at home. I am gonna bring a pair of slippers just for like if I wanna get up and walk or if I have to walk in the, in the hospital, whatever. Instead of socks, I just have a pair of slippers. They were 15 bucks on Amazon. Now I'm gonna go through this little baby's bag. I'm gonna get everything out first because this is kind of a crunchy bag. All right, crunchy bag out of the way. First thing, I've got a muslin swaddle, a white muslin swaddle, and then this like light blue muslin swaddle. These are nice for pictures. They're nice to just like lay down, wipe up, spit up, and that sort of thing. Just bring two colors of those. Then I've got this pop copper pearl swaddle. This is like an actual stretchy, like nice swaddle to like actually swaddle your baby with. And then um, you'll see he has a matching hat to this as well. So those are the only things I'm bringing for like blankets or swaddles. Okay, and then I've got some clothes. So this is just a newborn onesie, long sleeve with the little flip deals. Those are nice. So he'll probably be in this for like most of the time or the short sleeve one. So just plain white Gerber onesies. And then for picture purposes, I've got, this is a knotted gown, it's not knotted right now, but you knot it at the bottom. And it's just a little white one. It does have the fold over flips on the hands. So that's like for maybe a picture opportunity. And it's really easy to change their diapers with these knotted gowns. So here's the next one. This is just a black one that I got on Amazon. I'll try to link these below. It also has the flip things, cuffs. This is a way longer one, but it's just a knotted gown. So I thought that'd be nice. And then to come home in, I just have got this regular pajamas. This is from Target. It's the Cloud Island brand. These are really nice because they zip from the bottom to the top. Sorry, my light's going in and out. And then I've got this bag. This actually came with that black knotted gown that I showed you. It, that's what it came in from Amazon. So it's a nice little bag. Inside of here, I've got some pacifiers. Our kids don't like love, love pacifiers, but they use them a little bit. I've got a Ryan and Rose, and then I've got a regular Advent. These are my favorite ones. These seem to be a little bit big for newborns' mouths, but I put those in here so they don't get dirty. And the last thing in there is in another bumpkins bag. I've got some newborn hats. So this is a really small blue hat. These are all knotted. This is a pretty small white one that goes with that white knotted gown. I've got this gray one that can go with his coming home sleeper. And then the copper pearl hat. This is gonna be for a picture mostly with um, with his copper pearl swaddle. And I just got this plain black hat. I think it's important to cover their heads to help regulate their temperature. And I have some more socks in here. These are also nice. I just get the plain white ones. I put them on the baby's feet and on their hands so they don't scratch themselves. If their clothes don't have the mitt on them that goes around their hands, socks work way better than the little mitts that you can buy at the store. At least in my case, that's what I found to work. That is everything in my hospital bag and the baby's hospital bag. Like I said, I'll link everything down below if you're interested in any of these things. A lot of it's from Amazon or Target or it's stuff I already had. I will like have a few last minute things like insurance cards, the registration papers, a couple, you know, making sure I have my tripod and that sort of thing. Just a few things I'll write down on the list and set it on top of the bag for the last minute grab and go items. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and then don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.